Yeah, g'day. Thought I'd try out this new camera and um, at the same time scrap out a uh, Emac for you. Uh, I've got so many of them still lying around, so uh, here's a good good chance to uh, at least get rid of one of them. And uh, like you know, these Emacs are uh, all in one Macs. I've uh, got the the Mac and the monitor in one, so uh, they're really good value scraps. They're, I rate them a 10 out of 10. And um, uh, yeah, for their size, uh, I think they're good value, although they probably weigh about 25 kilos, so they're, they're heavy little buggers, but uh, good value scraps, so uh, I'll get into it. The only problem with uh, these Emacs is that uh, they've got a lot of screws. Uh, but slowly we'll, we'll get through them all. Uh, Okay, let's get this bugger open, eh? There you go. Well, th these covers, um, apparently, uh, what uh, one guy, I think it was uh, Tybo from Scrap Forum, uh, says you can do with them is is um, you can put them on a table and you put a citronella candle inside and it's like a little uh, a glow light uh, as well as citronella candle to keep the mozzies away <clears throat> might be something I just put them back and uh, uh, find it's the safest way to get rid of the tube at the end anyway um, okay so all I'm going to do now is uh, just take off a whole heap of screws Uh, you wouldn't want to be doing this with a, a hand screwdriver. Uh, you'd be going, be going for ages. Almost there. Obviously, that's the uh, CRT, uh, treat it as a normal CRT, cut the cable off to the flyback transformer. Uh, so you've got your CRT here, um, obviously your yoke, and then uh, around the back here, um, this is the, uh, the, uh, the Mac side of it, and we'll just take off this back plate. So here we go, we've got uh, DVD, obviously the motherboard, uh, you've got a RAM stick here, um, so that's the PC side, that's the first thing we'll take off, uh, apart from things like this, a few little, little nips and cuts, and there we go, we've just, just a basic fan, uh, don't do much with them, this piece here. Uh, this part here is aluminium. Obviously, you, as you can see, there's a whole lot of aluminium all over this this uh, EMAC, but uh, that's the first bit. So, just remove the plastic. Get rid of this. And uh, if you uh, if you uh, got a uh, stainless steel bucket, this little part there, that's stainless steel. I don't do stainless steel anymore. I, it's so slow that uh, I just throw it all in steel. It's just uh, not worth for me having a bucket. Same as that, that'll go in steel. There's a little bit of aluminium. Why not? First little commodity out of the EMAC. Okay, so just get rid of a few wires. Okay, all right. So a couple more screws and uh, I'm going to separate this this motherboard section from the CRT board. So, a couple more screws in, and I'll 
I'll just keep around that a little bit. Almost there. Motherboard, your hard drive. It's a little power board for the for the motherboard. Um, and, uh, pretty easy to get this off. I'll just separate this for now, nice and easily. Okay, that's your hard drive. Now. This uh, casing around the hard drive is also aluminium, uh, so, so I'll just uh, separate this. There we go. Okay, nice piece of aluminium. Um, hard drive, it's got a sealed, the board's not exposed, so. I don't uh, pick anything off these hard drives, I just throw them, just uh, sell them as is. Now, these, you'd be pretty familiar with these clips. Uh, a lot of people cut them like that and uh, tear them away like that, leaving the back plastic and, and ribbon still inside. But the best way is to snip them on both ends cut off that little bit that's just plastic and then peel peel your uh, low grade insulated wire off off your pins and there's a pin ready to go into your gold bucket okay. and uh, same as this side same thing peel that off plastic uh, low grade insulated wire okay all right, so that's obviously aluminium too. It's the backing of the CRT monitor. rest of the motherboard okay so you got a nice motherboard here actually uh, I'll scrap this out and then I'll um, I'll get onto this motherboard but uh, um, and the DVD so just finish this part off a uh, couple more screws yep screws everywhere nice and easy now it's just a matter of cutting away a few wires quickly and roughly to uh, get the job done uh, just to show you okay there we go got the nice aluminium backing CRT uh, board not a lot there apart from obviously a lot of aluminium uh, transformer good aluminium relay uh, and a bit of wire but yeah pretty good good value um, just for a CRT board so CRT P, uh, uh, Mac so far pretty good now so I guess what we got left is the, the actual CRT so it's really back to basics here um, cutting a couple of snippy a couple of wires okay These kind of look like air filters off a, off a motorbike or something. But, uh, inside there, there's a really good board. Uh, I might show you that if we've got a bit of time. 
But uh, so don't just discard it. Uh, you've got a nice circuit board in there with uh, nice MLCCs in it. CRT yoke. There we go. Nice CRT yoke. I like to take the tape off straight away just so I can get rid of the tape and uh, at the same time when I, when I smash the yoke I don't have to clear out the sticky tape out of the copper because uh, it'll be all smashed into it so just get rid of the main tape a bit of spool there got this uh, on uh, CRT monitors uh, you'll have this ring of copper going around the tops it's just a little ring like that so there's your yoke we'll smash that up and get four pieces of copper out of it this one here in here is uh, usually it's uh, your, your uh, Bear Bright Milbury copper we'll just cut it out we'll just swap out as you can see it's a uh, it's Milbury, it's bare, bright, shiny, no, no, um, lovely clean copper. Just bunched it up. Okay, so all we've got left here is um, the gorsing table. Look at this bugger. Nice, thick. Thick chunk of copper, strip this basically. As you can see, lovely copper inside. This one here is uh, actually very, it's uh, Milbury if you can see it, it's very shiny. If there's no um, glue residue on them when I strip it, I'll put this in as Milbury. I just cut away this sort of stuff, just the insulated. And I'll throw this in with high grade until I strip it. Last thing, so you've got uh, this wire here, the braided wire. That's actually, it's actually braided copper wire that's been coated with tin. It's tinned copper wire. So it goes as tinned copper should be about five dollars fifty a kilo so don't just throw this as steel or anything I've seen people do all sorts of things with it it's actually copper wire <clears throat> and then there's also braided wire in that's insulated so this would just go as insulated wire since you're here there's not much there but uh, since you're there might as well cut it out. Um, it adds up. After doing uh, CRTs after a couple of years, believe me, this this stuff does add up. Um, and all that's left, a couple of speakers, a couple of speakers. It's only scrap steel, but uh, reduces the weight of the the monitor when I have to take it away at least and it get a little bit of steel. Okay. Two speakers, scrap steel. There you go, the wire. And that's it. We've just about scrapped a uh, EMAC. Well, roughly. Put the cover back up. Up. Got to find one more screw. We'll, uh, <coughs> we'll get the job done. But anyway, so that's uh, that's your scrap to mate. Main thing I wanted to show you it was the. Uh, motherboard um, and uh, you've removed that it's just simply
Now, here's something I'll show you. Let me just get this out the way. This uh, power board that's on the motherboard, it's it's, uh, it's you know just low grade power board I suppose. It's uh, green both sides, but as you can see, it's a very basic base. But before you do anything with it and take off these wires, don't forget that inside here there are I don't know if you can see them, but there are very large MLCCs. Um, under the glue uh, there's four of them and one, two oh, lost one but uh, if you can see the MLCCs they're um, there's a uh, nice so you might as well take them off since they're there and they all add up like you probably know so that's just off this board um, your motherboard, got a nice copper heat sink here, beautiful, all I do is just snip off this, this can go as just aluminium, there you go, nice piece of uh, copper, uh, candy copper. Motherboard. You can see some some uh, really nice MLCCs here. Uh, don't forget your little uh, crystal uh, um, crystal oscillator. Um, if you look over the other side, you see these little yellow SMD tantalum capacitors. Take them. Uh, another crystal oscillator. More MLCCs. Um, and there's a, a black SMD tantalum capacitor. So there's really good stuff all over, like I mean, there's a couple of RAM sticks. A couple of RAM sticks. It's a 128, believe it or not, and a 512. And your DVD. Uh, I'll take the board out of this layer. Uh, another one of these kind of ribbon wires again. Split. Take it out. There's your pins in there. Rubbish. And your ribbon wire. Do the same. Both ends. One, two. Cool. Okay. So that's basically it. Uh, they, you know, they t they take a bit of time because not, not only um, you know is it time to scrap them, but then you've got to clean all that up. Uh, you know, get the board out of there. Still clean up some bits off the motherboard. There's some great bits in there. There's more MLCCs on this board in here, so I have to still and get rid of all this wire. A little bit to clean up here. Aluminium. Got a degaussing cable to strip. Round. A yoke. Lovely copper there. Hard drive. It's only a 60 gig. Uh, I'll just get rid of it as it is. About a dollar a kilo. Good enough for me. And that's it, guys. Got some nice wire. Bit of copper. Okay, well there you go. That, that, that's me uh, little scrap. I hope um, it wasn't so bad. Um, okay, thanks for watching and uh, maybe see you next time.